Hi, John Marshall, the Drill Master. I have the OFD. Don't know what OFD is, but haven't uh, haven't researched it. Uh, looked it up even. <clears throat> OFD Honor Guard. Uh, this is their color guard. Uh, posting the colors. So uh, most often. <coughs> Uh, those who don't have the full ceremonial uniform yet have just maybe completed training and they're going to uh, uh, they're eventually going to get that uniform and I don't recommend first responders get a specific special uniform anyway um, a class A uniform and then put a cord on it and you're good and that usually works <clears throat> it doesn't make any sense to me to spend tons and tons of money on just a uniform that you might use for a couple of years or longer you know that's fine but really the money can be better spent by getting proper equipment um, so the uh, uh, looks like we have a one of the brown staffs can't stand those brown staffs they're just their office display only uh, uh, and then it looks like uh, a gold colored aluminum staff and you've got a um, up here you have a, a spread eagle and then that that spike um, and it looks like it's conical it's it's just a you know an upside down ice cream cone uh, it could be four sided um, it, a little more ornate and those come from the Civil War era uh, one side uses use the cone one side use the uh, the squared off version and you know either one's fine doesn't really matter but the the spread eagle is not uh, is I recommend against it for the military we don't use it except for uh, the president and then the Navy and the and the Coast Guard use it for anyone with a, a 19 or higher gun salute uh, so it it's not all that uh, uh, it's not something that I recommend. Anyway, uh, and as far as uh, as first responder color guards go, because I'm just going to get into this parade rest position. Um, what what guidance do you follow? Well, you have to go to the military. There's that's the only place that has uh, color guard information. And so, uh, besides the, the the fire axe, uh, the the flag manual doesn't allow for parade rest to uh, have the flag pushed forward. That's only a guide on position, and uh, first responders don't use guide ons outside of uh, outside of the academy. Uh, the gold cord and tassels, fine. There's no restriction on that. <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan of the uh, the short cord and tassels just under the axe head there. I really don't like those. They just get in the way. It's just a uh, an affectation that's not necessary in my view. But um, uh, so we look to the military. You can get my honor guard manual, which is the ceremonial drill version of of what's in the uh, the military manuals. The military manuals only have regulation drill, and it's limited. All three of them, honestly, are limited. Marine Corps has uh, more expanded information, but it's still limited, which hopefully will change soon. Um, uh, with uh, some behind the scenes work which is pretty cool anyway pushing that forward not a good idea and then also pushing the axe forward uh, you know for uh, for this uh, uh, this young woman's height she can push it forward no problem but you've got the the the, the wonky wrist situation there uh, she can push it forward fairly well. Now they're mimicking the rifle, and the reason why I didn't do this, I didn't go for pushing the the axe uh, forward like that, like the rifle, is because depending on the uh, uh, the axe guard height, then you're going to have varying degrees of just as we sh see here, his height uh, much greater than uh, probably a foot or so. It looks like. Uh, yeah, her. It looks like her head is about at the, his neck level. So, <clears throat> uh, his his axe is is pulled back much more simply because of his height. So I recommend the axe be straight uh, up and down at parade rest. It means the uh, the elbow is bent. Not a big deal. Uh, we do that with the uh, the M14 rifle. 
uh, depending on height. So it's it's not uh, uh, when we're at attention, that is. So anyway, uh, let's see. That was it. My of my initial in. Uh, so who's calling the commands? And they're not an honor guard, they're a color guard. An honor guard is a unit that has ceremonial elements. Color guard is one of those elements. We we use we we just assume that that people are an honor guard or or any kind of of formation is an honor guard and that's not necessarily so. Four hours. Now there. Uh, well, so why didn't the the why didn't the color guard uh, color uh, bearers go to port? So that uh, taking the I tell you what my axe is right here. All right, so you you stand at attention at the side, but then I I I performed this. I I spent two weeks creating the the axe manual uh, in tw uh, tw 2009 10 11 something like that when uh, when my wife and I were stationed in Germany and to to bring the axe over like this to port the it creates a weak wrist and I don't like the look of it it's just not it, it's very awkward and I, I don't uh, I don't think it's it's adequate plus you're bringing the axe head up to chin level which is fine but then you, uh, lead guard has the arm pinned and then uh, trail guard here she's finally going to the uh, the axe handle and having that big loop of the hand there I, I just don't I don't appreciate it uh, at all this is that's why I created the, for the for the axe manual the first position is here second position then is port going to order that's the uh, that's uh, and I I spent much time uh, agonizing over what looks best and you don't obviously you don't have to use anything that I do I I have no control over that. It doesn't matter. I'm giving you an opinion based off of decades of experience. So uh, it's just not, it, it doesn't work to present that strong professional image. This is weak. It, it's that the bent wrist there with the awkward position bringing the ax over, it, it just doesn't work uh, honestly. Uh, so uh, the US color bearer, uh, should be calling the commands. Prepare to carry colors. What? Carry colors. That's not carry colors. That's port. And there's no command of prepare to carry colors. That doesn't exist. You made that up. And it's not necessary. Port arms. Reach across. Lift. Done. Just like you did there. There's two counts for port for the axe. One, two. For the for the staff, it's I'm going to reach up so you can see uh, it, my hand in the uh, in the in the frame and port arms. Reach down a, as low as you can without you know bending the the whole body over, twisting your torso. Reach, lift. There, you're finished. Then keep your hands there. <coughs> I find the two hand grip is much better. Also, uh, since you have, if you notice here, when they reach across, they reach across and he has to grab the flag material, the what's called the silk. It's it's uh, it's a plastic rayon nylon, probably nylon, um, <clears throat> but still you don't want to. The, the the flag is a bit wrinkled anyway but what you don't want to do is add to the wrinkling our hands are nice and can get nice and warm and moist and this and while you're holding that that silk there to the staff it creates a little ripple that you can see as soon as you let go and there's this ribbon across part of the flag that you've just created by holding on nice and tight to the staff so tucking your color under your left 
<clears throat> you can do that with by by the Marine Corps method of stripping, you know, reaching up and then bringing the flag and then just moving it behind you, just gently pushing it behind you, or you can roll, toss it behind you, go to the cut position. <clears throat> but you can see here, and that that <clears throat> that reach across of making it sharp and. <clears throat> you just went uh, with the the flagstaff so it just go it rocks back and forth oh. is that the is that really what you want to do March. trail guard is stepping over imaginary logs color guards don't pivot um, we round our corners and, and it's it's plain to see in all of the manuals the pivot there is not necessary picking up mark time automatically that's good guard. so either colors or color guard halt is best right. being accurate is is <clears throat> is uh, so there is no pre prepare to post that you made that up to stepping on the stand is I left a comment on the video this veteran organizations and some first responders do this <clears throat> and this is I know this is taught uh, by a couple of people out there and it's it's maddening this is there's no reason to step on the stand you're not trying to reenact Iwo Jima it was done we have that historic version already doing this is is just not inappropriate but also look what you see here is the staff angled and then the staff angled and whoever both of the color bears are looking down now the the organizational color bear is having to look over like this around the flag <clears throat> this prepare to do this prepare to do that th that's just made up stuff uh, that's unnecessary uh, but on the right face uh, the the team should have if you're going to directly post that's the only time you face to the right from column formation the only time you never face to the right other than to directly post and what really should have happened here was that the team the 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 lead guard then should have been closer to the the uh, the stands so that the the color bearers were then closer to the stands you don't you don't need to step forward all you need to do is bring the staff you're at port you bring the staff forward you look down and if you need to at this time you're holding with both hands the flag is in between your arms you know you're kind of hugging the flag so from here all you have to do is release the left or the right either one I, I like to release the the right and then take this take the silk and pull it out of the way not pull it out of the way like this you don't want to announce to the audience that you're having troubles but you just take the flag and then move your hand like that that's it it takes the flag out of the way and you're at attention the entire time there's no reason to bend over there's no reason to look around the flag other than bad technique which is what this team was taught bad technique oh. slamming the colors is just absolutely inappropriate again just maddening training that that some are given protocol requires that we 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 give respect and honor to the flag how is it respectful how is it honorable when you just slam the stands right in or the the, the staffs into the stands how is that <clears throat> This is not a thing. We don't do this in the military. And it looks parochial. And I'm not I'm not ragging on the team. I'm ragging on their training. This looks childish. This is what little kids would do. 
I know what I just said, and I know it's not going to win me any friends. I get that. I understand that. You're already facing the direction of the flags. That's all that's required. You give, present arms. It, since you didn't present to your audience, you present arms, and then you left face, and you leave. This ready face stuff with all these little facing movements here just is... It's silly. It's, like I said, parochial. So, <clears throat> just a word on, uh, uh, we've got, you know, the alter, uh, no, they're, they're the same. Okay, they were at, uh, uh, both at port, not mirrored. So, the, the, the hands here, really, the, the right, <clears throat> just a little lower, this, this hump here is called the belly. So the right hand just above the belly is is good because it splits the, the bottom third. And then in between the hands is a, the middle third. And then here, the, the this left hand, hers is a little bit too low. It should be up just maybe two more inches. Then there's the top third. Splitting the axe into thirds like this really works well. Now... It's not exact thirds. I didn't, I didn't measure it, and then it's just a, uh, it, it's just a, a look of of how you place the hands on the axe, and this just, honestly, the hands close together, it it kind of looks like this, and it doesn't matter if there's any space in between them, it still looks like this, it it just doesn't look as good as it could, so at least they're not f flaring the hands forward. That's just ridiculous. Uh, the, the the grip here fine not a problem having both hands grip what I teach is left hand always grips and then uh, right hand is flared at the bottom like this now if you're gonna go mirror then it's going to be opposite but your your bottom hand then would flare with the, the top hand gripping That's not order, that's port, but... Ready, face. Left face. So why didn't you just left face from, from there? He, all he would have done was uh, uh, just a, a larger pivot move. So... I get it. I, I do. I, the, the the flags were dressed with outstretched arms, which is a a bit much. Um, but at least the fringe, uh, at the top edge of the flag, you, you don't have to have fringe. You can have fringe, whatever. Uh, civil agencies, civilians, fringe is not necessary. Um, but if you do have fringe, then it's just easier to, to see that the top edge of the fringe goes to the right as you dress the flag. And dressing really is shoulder width. Your hands are shoulder height uh, and shoulder width apart. There's no need for anything wider. It, you're not presenting the flag to anyone or anything like the, the ridiculous flag tilt that people think is, is necessary with, uh, with folding the American flag. So uh, anyway, I, I know I'm not going to uh, win hearts and minds with this video, uh, but this is this is just bad training, quite bad training, not the team's fault. All right, thanks for watching.